to perhaps move on to an, another story. That there are serious stories today about the issue that uh, bedevils, I think, a lot of organisations. What to say about uh, so-called trans rights and so on. Um, the Mail uh, on Sunday has a story. Labour MP. Uh, Rosie Duffield refused to call Eddie Izzard a woman. Now, you don't have to get into the issue of what you actually think about this, but I think it is disturbing that we're now in a situation where in workplaces and uh, in schools and so on, um, the, the language that people use is, is now becoming uh, an issue uh, which essentially means that sometimes people are are stopped from doing their jobs or they're shut out of classes and so on. And I think we're in a very, very strange, strange place where in politics and in public life and at the top of uh, many companies, people cannot use the norm, the language that most people in this country use. Okay. Uh, it's not disrespectful to say that there is such a thing as a woman. In my view, it's a fact, but it's not disrespectful. And I, it's, it's very worrying. This thing keeps coming back. OK, I just think I haven't really explained to our listener what, what the story is, which is yeah. that Labour MP refuses to call Eddie Izzard a woman. Labour MP Rosie Duffield said she refused to call Eddie as a woman. The comedian, whose campaign is to stand as a Labour MP, announced two years ago the decision to use she, her pronouns. So let's just go round the virtual table. If Eddie Izzard asks to be called a woman, would you call her uh, one Sarah? Um, I'm uh, on the. I, I, I think on this this whole issue, um, as you know, that I, um, I'm with um, Trevor as a fellow member of Index on Censorship. That one one should have free speech where possible. Free speech where possible. Okay. And to you, Kate, do you have an positional? Or... Well, I do think I'll say this. I do think there's a difference. I think there's a difference with your biological woman. I'm with Rosie on that. Okay. So we're, we're, to you listening, we, we know there's an ongoing dialogue. The PM series of this perhaps is the one where we try to get to grips with all opinions and we'll be doing that on the programme in the normal way. So thank you for raising that, Trevor, and we'll move along to you, your next selection 